Really, what is that horrible popping sound? Uh, everybody asks me that. So if I got a dollar for every time someone asked me that, you know, I'd be somewhere in the Bahamas. I'd give you a dollar for answering yeah. questions. <laughs> <laughs> so what it is essentially, if you a little science lesson on it, if you remember back from like your probably like eighth grade science class, and there's a relationship between pressure and gas and liquids and things like that in chemistry. So when you create a negative pressure in a joint by distending it and moving it, you turn what the fluid in the joint becomes a gas. So essentially you're turning your synovial fluid, which is a lubricating fluid in the joint, into carbon dioxide. It's turning into a gas. So it's not bone on bone grinding. You're not actually like cracking anything. You're actually distending the joint and pulling it apart. If anything, you're not grinding it together mm-hmm. uh, and you get this release of gas and pressure. I know some people absolutely love it. It's, it's scary. It's a love hate so thing. My kid likes to pop her own neck. Okay. Can so you let her know everyone that asks that's... me this too. <laughs> if it doesn't cause pain, like no immediate pain, and you don't feel like you have to do it more and more frequently, I would say it's okay. Even for a seventeen year old. It depends. <laughs> she uh, might not feel pain yeah, now. Yeah, but, but a lot of kids these days are sitting at the desk a lot, they're sitting okay. at school, they're very stationary and stuff like that. So it builds up pressure in the joint. It Movement is what out. pumps fluid out of your joints. So yeah. if you don't move a lot, you build up a lot of snow yeah. food in the joint. Okay. And that's where you're gonna get that louder pop when you move. So mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. So okay if you haven't got pain <laughs> and you don't feel like you have to do it every two minutes in the morning.